Hello guys and welcome to this uh, MySQL and PHP uh, tutorial. I've been getting a, a couple of questions and people with problems about MySQL. Um, so, what are we going to do in this tutorial? Well, we're going to select information, data from a database, and then we're going to talk through how to extract it with a while loop, and we're just extracting uh, one or two items. Um, so I come over to localhost, and I've got a database here with uh, all the charts. I've just chucked in there all the charts at the moment. So we've got 29 um, entries um, in there already. And so I'm going to show you how to loop through all of these and or just pick one of them out. So first thing we need to do is connect. So we make a simple uh, variable and we say MySQL connect and I'm running on local host. So the server here or the host is that and the username is that and there's no password and then we want to select to the, the database which this one's just called Thorn Web Design that's spelled correctly yes okay that's the connection done now just to clarify this you only need to connect to the database once okay so that can just sit at the top or you can sit at that in another file and then include it but for the time being we're just going to do that okay so what do we need to do first of all we're going to query and we're basically going to say mysql query and what this is doing is it's sending a query to the database because we've already connected and what we're doing is select which is selecting um, what we want and the star means everything from which means from which table within the database because we've already said what database we want to um, uh, take this data from here so select everything from music charts which I've called the database the table should I say okay so by saying select everything here from music charts means it's going to select all of the columns okay it's not meaning the rows it's going to select every single column so it's going to select the ID, the place, last, artist name, song title, and dates. That's what it's talking about. If I simply say here, select ID from music charts, then it will only select this column. It will not select anything more, and you cannot retrieve any other information from this database apart from the ID. So, my advice is always do select everything from the, the table, then it means it's a little bit more versatile and flexible if you want to pick out any anything else. So, now, how do we extract this information? Well, first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically extract out one thing. So, select everything from music, music charts, and we say where, so now we are narrowing it down, where ID equals 1. Okay, so all we're doing is basically selecting this one row. Okay, so we're selecting everything, the ID, place, last, artist name, song title, and date from music charts, but we're only selecting it where the ID equals 1. So it's just going to select this row and nothing else. Okay, so we now we say row, which was making a new variable, and we're actually making a new array. And we're going to say fetch associates. And in here, the query that we're going to do is the query we've just done. So now row is basically uh, an array of um, five elements, which is, or not five, or it's the ID, the place, last, artist name, song title, and dates. So if we want to echo out this information, then we just say row, and we do square brackets, and then open quotes, double quotes or single quotes, um, and we say ID. And all we can do is put a break tag on here, and then I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it seven, six times. Okay, and then next we've got place and last. So place uh, and last, and the next one is artist name, and the next one is song title. And the next one is dates. Okay, let's just double check that. Artist name, song title, and dates. Okay, so now we are basically selecting all this information. Okay, control is to save. Come over to localhost, which I've got running here. This is my index.php. We refresh it, 
and there we go we get one 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 and then the name the song title and then the dates nice and simple so let's check this information now and we've got place ID was one place was one last was one artist name was that song title was that and date was that nice and simple so now what if we want to select all of them so we change this select everything from music charts now we can keep all this because this is all good stuff and we'll just say while which means now we're going to loop through and we don't need this semicolon we open up curly braces and put it down here and so now we're saying while row is equal to mysql fetch associate being the query basically it's going to go through every single row now it has nothing to do with this name here this is just the name of the, the array but this is going to going to um, query every single row in the database and once it's finished on the last column as in the date it goes right there's no more columns here so go to the next row and it's going to start here and it's going to pick that out that out that out and to the end and so on until it it reaches the last row and it says there are no more rows left so that means it's finished so just by saying echo row ID and that's it so now we'll just control this to save and let's just bang a um, HR tag here okay and come back to here and refresh and we get a whole list of them there we go see and it's going through and it's looped through absolutely everything all of the the things in it there's nothing more to it than that we can also put here array okay which is just another method of doing it come back to here refresh and it does exactly the same it's exactly the same there's nothing different there is nothing more to MySQL than that okay how to loop through things now we can if we get rid of this just to make things easier um, we could say name equals row artist name yeah and basically then come back to here and refresh and you get a blank page okay because all you're doing is you're passing this information to this variable so now we echo name and come back to here and refresh and then we get all of the names okay obviously we didn't put a break tag in there so if we do put a break tag in there and refresh there we go we get all the names okay so if we just put in here echo song title and we come down to here again just to show you that we're only going to get a couple of items uh, so you've got artist name I'm just basically playing here just to show you to show you where all the errors are going to be okay so then we put song title in here so we're echoing out the artist name and song title but we've only selected the song title from the music charts so come back to here refresh see and you get undefined index artist name that's simply because we haven't asked for the artist name now we could ask for the artist name here as well so now we're selecting artist name and song title from music charts so come back to here and refresh and there we go you get this information you see so that is it that it doesn't get any more complicated than that guys um, just another quick one for you okay if you're working with sessions this is another one that um, I've seen a mistake from other people okay session starts means you uh, are starting a session now to echo out the session ID of it okay you just simply say session ID okay that's it and you come to here whoops come to here and refresh and you get this 16 digit number or cat of characters okay that is a session ID there just was a quick one for you okay that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh, I hope you learned something uh, if you didn't well then either watch it again or go away uh, come and visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de and if you have got any questions then uh, don't hesitate to ask me okay I will ask answer them 
and I'm simply doing this tutorial um, just because someone has spent 10 hours trying to do it and I'm spending 9 minutes on telling you how to do it. Okay? Alright, well that's it. Thanks very much and have a nice evening. Bye bye.